All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, just wanted to make a video today. I'm just out kind of relaxing, checking out the view. Oh, this button. Let's show you the view. But I'm actually just out relaxing today. Yesterday, I wanted to do something hard, so uh, if you've kind of been following the channel, then I actually started running in July, about July 4th. Um, there's just a point in my life where I had noticed I was putting on quite a bit of weight and I was getting a little bit unhealthy. And I was recommended a book, it's called Can't Hurt Me. It's by David Goggins. And if you haven't read that book, I'd definitely recommend looking it up. Um, has a little bit of language. Um, I just listened to it on on Audible, Audible, or actually just listened to it on YouTube, and then just uh, he actually reads the book and then does somewhat of a podcast inside of it. So really good book, and it just talks about David's life, and um, he had a lot of trials when he was younger, and just learned how to really become the toughest man alive. So. I actually ordered one of his shirts. He just released some of his apparel gear and been waiting for that to come in the mail. But uh, anyway, going back to what I've been doing, I've actually been training, been running, been pretty comfortable, been running about four miles uh, pretty much every single day. And then yesterday, I just got to the point where I wanted to really test my limits. I wanted to do something a little bit harder. So I actually ran a half marathon took me about two hours and 20 minutes so I definitely wanted to see I've never run like a marathon or anything like that but I wanted to really see what it would be like to run a race so now that I've done that I know my mental strengths there I know that uh, my lungs are there now that I can actually carry on the distance so the next goal is gonna be a 26.2 marathon just gotta figure out it's been a little bit harder the the big one down here that's in the st. George area you actually start up there in the Red Rocks and then you run your way down into the city. Um, it would have been last week, but with COVID it was canceled. So got to look for either the next half marathon or full marathon, but I think I'm ready to give it a shot. Um, definitely want to try to push myself a little bit harder. Uh, it's been nice. Uh, the reason why I started running is like I was saying, I was getting a uh, you know, starting to notice the gut and the weight piling on them. I'm a tax accountant, so from January through typically April 15th, I just sit in the chair and eat, and I burn no calories. And this year it was extended all the way out to July, and so uh, the six months of just sitting and eating and not getting much exercise really, really did it in for me this year. So um, hard things that's coming around again in the next few months, so I have to try to get myself to a point where I can afford to lose a little bit just because it's just the nature of my profession. But uh, today, my legs are just pretty sore from the 13 miles. I gotta give you some running shoes. I've just been wearing these Adidas indoor soccer shoes, so that's kind of my next goal. If you're watching this and you're a runner, you know, maybe comment some different shoes that you like to run in. I'm definitely looking for a good pair of running shoes, something that uh, will just kind of help the impact. My heels are pretty sore today. I have some um, plantar fasciitis or something like that. So just the inside of my heel is hurting. And then when you start running those long distances, the inside or the outside of your knees, the IT band, uh, mine is really sore today. So it's been just a day of just relaxing the legs. Anyway, just thought I would uh, touch base, shoot this video. Uh, what are you guys doing this this day Saturday here and I'm just amazed at just the view that I have at my house and just kind of feeling the energy of the earth um, it's just been a lot of negativity in the world so hopefully you guys can find something to keep yourselves positive positive you know everything going on I know times are getting tougher a lot of financial problems anxiety problems depression, things like that, that can kind of beat you down, but um, we've all been there. We've all kind of feel these stresses. Hopefully you're not feeling too much weight of the world on your shoulder. If you are, just try to find something you can do to 
better yourself during these tough times. Uh, it's just been one of those things I recommend just reading that book, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Just listen to someone else's story and how he overcame the hard things in his life, the hard challenges to become better and stronger. So if you guys will do me a favor, check that out if you haven't already. If you have, let me know what your thoughts are on the book. But I'm going to get ready to uh, go hang out with the kids, do some Halloween activities. I think we're going to go hit a haunted car wash, so I'll probably record that. So we'll let you guys know how that goes as well. But, you know, get out. Look at the, look at the, the world, what it has to offer. I don't know if you can see those views, but they're just amazing. So, all right, guys, we'll catch you on the next video.